Hi guys, my name is Puming Chin. In the past 10 weeks of professional and ethics course, I've learned a lot of theories and skills in this course. So now is the time to reflect what I have learned and how to apply it into future areas. In this video, I will demonstrate it into three parts. First, how this course impacts me and changed me after 10 weeks. Beyond this course, I was always judged people from different culture based on my understanding. For example, I assume all the people from Sichuan, a city in China, I love to eat spicy. However, we had to share our culture during the week six workshop. I asked my classmate Brace. He said, no way, not all the people from Sichuan love to eat spicy. After sharing the cultural background, with my classmate, I realized that I must be humble and respect to other culture and I should try to understand the culture through the conversation with them, not just based on my understanding. As the information I have may have the bias, moreover, especially in the working environment, I should not judge the people based on my assumption or even first impression because this is unfair and precipitancy the culture humility that state that learning one culture is a lifelong goal secondly refer to virtual theories it is significant to come by it into future it is intensifying me to become perfect i will continue to provide the accurate information such as data or reference that I use for my academic essay or for my client in the future. Moreover, refer to the blind spot. We should eliminate our own self and increase our should self. For example, I should aim to provide a service as a customer base in building a good reputation for my company rather than focus on my own commission. Also, I could use the past framework to make a multiple dimension judgment of my action. Finally, I would like to talk about the feedback I received from my blog and report and how those feedback be important for me in the future. I've realized that my feedbacks are mainly focused on two problems. First is the reference issue from my blog. And another one is the evidence that I used cannot provide the persuasive and language for my case report. In the future, I will pay more attention on these problems and I'll follow the rule correctly and language the evidence together and prove with the report before I submit. Because it can let the reader understand the purpose and logic in my writing. Also, this is important in working environment as well. I must follow the instruction from my college, a customer and other stakeholders and complete the work correctly. In conclusion, there are many decision making tools in this course. I could effectively apply it into my future areas. Also, I should maintain a self-awareness in business ethics. I would like to say a thank you from my tutor Tom, Lin, Jean, and management team to provide a well-structured course for me.